Hi everyone. Today I'm songwriting live just to show you how, you know, how I do it. People often say, but how do people do it? Do they start from words? Do they start from a melody? Where do people get ideas when they have creative blocks? Well, the way I do it is um, I usually uh, get, a, it's always a melody for me. I always um, have a melody in my mind first. I could be walking around town anywhere. I have a melody in my mind. So I'll go on my mobile phone. I'll go on the recording app. Um, you can see how many I've done. And I'll just hit record and I'll record the melody. Or I'll sit on my piano, play some chords, and, and then I'll have um, uh, you know a vibe and, and then I'll record the melody on top. It hardly ever starts with words. However, where do I get ideas from for concepts? Anywhere from having a conversation with my family, my friends. I get ideas from anywhere, you know, um, sitting at the cafe and people talking. Uh, watching a movie, I never sit uh, on the sofa without a pad next to me because there could be the, a really good line and then you think, God, that would, make, that would make a really good title for a song or, I don't know, any, absolutely anywhere. So I can never be short of um, concepts. Um, it could be reading a book and then you, you see a word that, you know, a poem, a copy, you know, copyright free poem, anything. Um, so what I'm doing today, I'm songwriting from scratch. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm hoping that I won't go blank. <laughs> um, I have an empty jar and I have um, the chords in it. I'll paste that there so you can see it's empty. I don't have already pre-chosen chords and I've got chord A, put it in there so I won't know that's chord A. Chord B, put it in there. Chord C, put it in there. Chord D. <laughs> and then E, F, and G. And these are your chords for creating songs. You could be using chords in a major way, like happy, or in a minor way. I can happy, or you can do things like my favorite chords are sus4, like that, which resolves into a normal chord, or major sevens. I love those. Anyway, now we'll be shuffling the, um, the jar and I'll be choosing five chords at random. I might not use all five chords, I might only use three, but I thought if I have a choice, my hand doesn't fit in there. Okay, so the first chord. Da -da 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 Chord F. Okay, so I'll write that on my pad. My pad, chord F. Then the second chord is. Ah! Yeah, I've got two. No, I've got one. Chord G. Lovely. So I'll write that on my pad. F, G. And I could use them in different. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be in the sequence that I'm picking them up. Um, songwriting doesn't work like that, it's not static. Then I've got the third chord, which is E. Um, I've got the fourth chord, which is A. And what, it, what happens is that sometimes you use some chords for the verses and some chords for the chorus. Um, and chord B, the last chord, lovely, it is quite a nice sequence. Usually I don't do this. Usually, as I said, I just sit, sit on the piano and I just put my hands on the piano and I just come up with a melody. Um, but to show you that this was done organically from scratch, you know, I couldn't just come up to you with pre-chosen chords because you would have thought, oh, she's already got a melody, she's not doing it from scratch. <laughs> so anyway, and then what I'll be doing out of this little book of um, different quotes, copyright free quotes, I'll be picking up a word for, um, at random. Obviously, if I pick up the word the or therefore or a, that won't be you know the word that I'll be using because I can't I can't um, you know create a concept out of a word the. But uh, so let's do that. Let's just go around. I close my eyes, open the book. This book has got words on one side and pictures on the other. So uh, I don't know my my um. I don't know. I don't know if you can see, <coughs> but my finger 
ended on the word after. <laughs> now, I don't know whether that's a good word. After, after. Could you make a title called After? Ever After. Let's try. We said we were some writing from, from scratch. So, or could that be the A word within a title? That is probably going to be a word within a title. I don't think a title could just be called after. So let's leave it there and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so I'll close the book now. I don't want to be distracted by the quotes. Well, it's from writing from scratch. It might be that I don't end up getting lyrics today. Lyrics is something that doesn't come very... God, hair in my mouth. <laughs> very easy to me. It's not that... This is going to be the perfect and the finished product. It's um, very much an organic process where I start with an idea and then I, I record a little bit of it and then I go away and I think of an intro or work out the piano part. Um, so it's just really the beginning to show you how it all starts. Okay, so let's try. Let's, let's play these chords. F, G, we've got E. A and B. But we could be playing this in major or minor. Um, so let's see. Let's just, I'm just going to be playing the piano now, playing this solely these chords. I hope you won't get bored. And um, yeah, and just see what happens. I don't have a melody in mind because I couldn't have a melody in mind because I didn't know what the chords were going to be. It's like saying, um, I'm going to cook something. But it's like the mystery box on the um, um, the Master Chef Australia. I don't know if anyone watches. These people get a box, they lift it, and underneath there are some um, ingredients that they didn't know were going to be there, so they couldn't come to the counter and say, oh, "I'm going to be cooking chicken," in case chicken wasn't there. So really, it's just going to be. I don't know what I'm going to do. The melody is going to have to work with these chords. Let's try. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like starting in F. So I don't really know whether it's going to be a fast song, a slow song. Just see where my hands take. Take me first. Already, I quite like that. Do, then that could be the verse. I write down, you know, I write down verse and then I write the sequence. Uh, and don't mind my voice because I'm not a singer. I can sing enough to, you know, make up a melody and record a demo and then I hire a singer which sings much better than me. <laughs> G, no, E, E minor, A minor. And then we need, we could either go straight to the chorus or we could have what they call the pre-chorus, which is like, um, you know, a section that leads you into the chorus. So what go, let's see how what happens. Let, let me hit uh, record on Pro Tools. So if I actually create something that is worth keeping, I might scrap this idea or I might develop it in the next few weeks. Then at least I, I won't forget what I'm doing. Uh, have I got signal? Yeah, I've got signal. Have I got voice? Yeah, I've got voice. Okay. Um, so let's re hit record. And then we can just forget about the Pro Tools. Um, that's just recording. <laughs> You got 
G. So we can use G. go C, but I can't use C because uh, I haven't got that. So where can I go? I want to say the word after when I go on the E. Problem because you know I've chosen the chords at random, so I can't go where I want. Okay, so the first. G, so we can use G and I'm going to do a Jesus 4 G as a result. The Jesus 4 is so the root note is G and then is G is number one. G da, 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 that's number four C. And then number five is D and that's what Jesus 4 is. is G, C, D and that resolves into G, B, D which is your normal chord. It's a lovely way to just, it's just Breaks the boredom. Okay. That could be a good three chords, huh? Da 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 E normal. E normal, basically, not E minor. We were using E minor in the verse, now we use E normal. Da da da. I can't go into the sea because I haven't got that. <laughs> this is where the challenge comes. Let's try, let's try. Uh, mind the noise. It's just that it's so hot. I've got to have the window up. Um, so let's repeat. <laughs> this because I want to go somewhere I can't go so maybe I have to change the chords um, so bear with me uh, because this process does take a while you know to figure out where the song is gonna go the whole point of doing it from scratch is to show you the challenges um, yeah go and get a glass of something and come back <laughs> Da, 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 da. A and then what I'm doing is 
I can't remember, to be honest. What I re- Let's listen back from, um, no, I can't because in the middle of nowhere, in the Pro Tools. Uh, okay, let's start again. Da, 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 da. When you have a melody of the pre chorus, and then there, and then you do a chorus coming down. Usually, a chorus wants to um, stick it up. <laughs> you know, you want to do, well, you could be you could be writing a song by um, doing a melody like, da, 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 or going down, da, 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 or you could do. Da, da, like a spike and I, I, I quite like spikes in my some writing I have a lot of spikes uh, must be because I'm Italian and I have a quite a lovely personality <laughs> so enough of talking crap <laughs> okay so we can go there You know, it's as if you go to do a chord right in a studio and some drum programmer and someone else have given you a vibe and you've got those chords and you, you've just got to harmonize top line on those chords. You can't change it. They've worked on that. You know, they're going to go and find someone else if you can't do it. So, um, yeah, so I've got to stick with these chords. Um, Ending 
right here at the moment. One of the chords we've got. And now how do we go back to the verse? I can't even remember what the chords were. <laughs> That's not good. If you can't remember it, it means the melody wasn't that good. <laughs> Let's see if we can remember it. Can you remember that? Can you remember how that chorus go? If I were to spread the chords. When I did my Christmas song, when I do any song, you know, you start with an idea and then you, you, you know, when you collaborate as well, someone else might say, actually, can we try this? And, you know, you've got to keep an open mind and they might actually make it better. Or if genuinely it doesn't feel better, you, you, you know, just say politely and just say, I actually feel it stronger this way and just maybe go away and don't listen to it for a couple of days and come back to it and see what feels natural, you know, just. Joe Bloggs' idea, was it better or is your idea better? And always be prepared to change something because some writing is rewriting, you know. It, if it feels like genuinely it is finished, um, you can't help but keep thinking of that melody, then then probably it is strong. Um, and if you can't think of it, then you probably want to do something um, more memorable. <laughs> need the G. I think we can go straight from A, A major 7 to F and E. And then two melodies go together. Hmm. It, that verse feels like a pre-chorus. So quiet it's because I'm using the um, the SM58, which is a dynamic microphone. It's absolutely quiet. If I was to use my condenser microphone, my Rode NT2A, it would really fit back against the speakers. I'd have to listen to myself on headphones, but then you couldn't hear anything. So um, at least it's recording something and I can work with it. I hope you're not bored. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm creating a song. Um. I want to feel confident that I can remember the verse and the chorus. <sighs> I don't 
coronavirus. I think uh, it's weird. So if we were to start, hmm, I was to start the verse. What would I start? I would have to start with an A. No, I want to start it five notes down. I want to start the verse. Usually, a good you know a good way of um, writing a verse and, and chords. And don't take my word for it. This is, is in science. You can write songs however you like. But um, um, yeah. So if my chorus is in A, I want to start really my verse in a third down. A third means literally three notes. And I could start it in. Um, in F, but it didn't feel like that was working. And I can even go further down to a fifth. So that's a really good result. If I was doing my um, verse in, in E, ending here, da, 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 da. yeah, it feels really good. So let's try and write, if, if I get what I did before, let's try and write a verse starting in E, and then we've already got the chorus. Okay, go again. <laughs> We've got E on our list. We've got F, G, E, A, and B. See what happens. Be that today we don't get a verse in the chorus it might be that i only get the chorus what's well, better than nothing this is the strongest part of the you know of the song okay let's try and write some words to that chorus then the chorus is After rhyme with, so uh, I've got my phone and I've got my um, um, it's got it's called Poet Assistant uh, Rhyme um, app, and I just type um, after and it rhymes with drafter, <laughs> laughter, and laughter is quite nice, laughter, laughter. So I'll write it down. Thereafter, not really good. You want to avoid doing rhymes that have got the same ending as the previous, you know, the same, basically the same word as within that word as the word before. And it's not really giving me anything else. So I'm also using the rhyme zone online. Um, Where's that? Rhyme zone. And I've got after. After, oh God, it uh, rhymes with crafter, <laughs> drafter, grafter. 
Um, thereafter. No, really. Oh, it's an awkward word. I mean, we don't have to keep using it, but it's good that it rhymes with laughter. Whether you want a word with two syllables, three, four, or eight syllable, syllables. Uh, <laughs> eight syllables, we've got music for the morning after. What? So, um, what else have we got? Oscar. Um, Casper, <laughs> you're right, Jasper, plaster. I put a plaster and then I found a master. <laughs> no, um, well, disaster, we got disaster. Wow, well, we could make a funny song with the word disaster, you know, like I put some makeup on and afterwards my, my mascara went down and it was a disaster. <laughs> what else have we got? Um, master. That's it. We've only got two. Oh, that's fine. So back to some writing life. Okay, so what can we talk about um, after? Something ever after. You know, um, I... Um... After... After it, uh, after that, uh, I feel like using after that. After blah blah. After you go, after you went, after you went. You know, it could be that I just write down some lyrics and then I scrap them all together and start again. But at least let's try something. After you went, you know. So we could talk about what's a good way of doing as well. If you're not too specific when writing lyrics, if you don't put someone's name, you know, after. Uh, Job lock went, uh, then you've got more chance of having the song picked um, by a label or or by um, you know a movie or, or you know be, the song being placed in an advert because it's generic. It's, you're talking about you and you. It, it's got no gender. You could be a male, a female, a child, a granddad. So that that's a good way. So uh, to to um keep songs quite generic. Obviously, if you really want to write a song about, I have got a melody. Um, that I got inspired by this lady I used to work with. Um, for the life of me, I can't think what she's called now. Anyway, and and the melody wants to say that name, so I, I will finish it. Elaine, 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 Elaine. Yes, yeah, so I will. I will do that, but it might never go anywhere. It might just end up staying on SoundCloud and doing nothing. But yeah, you know. Don't feel constricted to follow rules, but if you want to sell, you have to follow some rules if you, if you want your songs to be picked up. Because these days, um, the general public has got a really short attention span. People uh, on Spotify um, click next after seven seconds. So your best part, in, you know, seven seconds, what's that? Just an intro, an introduction and, you know, an interlude on the piano before you even got to the words. Uh, if they just don't get, don't don't feel that emotion um, in 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 the first few bars of the first few seconds of your song, they'll go next. And and to be honest, sometimes I'm guilty of that too. If, if it just doesn't resonate with me, it could be something in the drums, in the bass too loud, or I don't like the instrument. It's just not the genre that, that I listen to. So I'll go next. And when you send the CD to a label, apparently they only listen to the first 34 seconds. So if you really want them to listen to that amazing chorus, you've got to get the chorus within the first 30 seconds. And if they're really impressed, they'll carry on listening to it. Otherwise, they'll just pick up the CD and go, next, end up in the bin. So if you, it depends. If you're doing some writing as a release because you want to write about stuff, just like people writing books, then do what you want, you know, don't follow the rules. I mean, there are some fantastic songs that have been done just using two chords. But if you want to sell you, you know you've got to follow certain rules as well like you know if you want music being played on radio these days you haven't got the freedom of creating long intros and and long songs like like my fire by the doors you've got to create a three and a half minute song um or, or you'll do an album version of it you know longer than do a radio edit what they call a radio edit a shorter one um because otherwise people will 
change a channel unless it's an absolutely fantastic song and and radio stations don't want people losing rate you know ratings so they want to play short songs it's to their own we've all got different ideas um so i'm going and you don't always have to use rhymes as well i've got songs that don't have rhymes um and i've got songs that um, perhaps like pop songs dance songs um People expect to hear that rhyme, uh, particularly rap, R&B, but then you might be doing jazz songs that, that completely have no, no rhyme at all. I found this line, after you went, after you've got, after you went, after you went away, I felt, um, I felt liberated. It could be that when you split up with someone, you feel liberated, or after you went, you know, I, I crumbled um, and now I'm better. So when you create a song, you want to write down a narrative, like when writing a book. So you, you don't have to start from verse one. You can start from the chorus, um, or you can start from verse one. And then you can then swap the verses around if it feels like the verse two um, should actually be the beginning. I've, I've done that recently with a song that I'm collaborating on. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, just um, really... Jog down all the thoughts you've got. Don't worry about finding a perfect line with a perfect syllable count like Max Martin does, counting the syllables. Um, you know, and don't try and follow any structure at the beginning like A, A, B, B, A, B, all that. Um, just literally jog down the thoughts, what your song is going to be about, and then try and change those lines into a song format, like writing a poem, um, also matching it to the melody. Uh, don't try and force a certain word if the melody is good. Don't try and, you know, this is why I find it easier to write a melody first and then words, because I've been given words in the past and they didn't particularly follow, you know, you, you get a really long line and then the second line is not so long. It didn't follow a good um, good flow and it was really difficult to to... to maintain that melody and you ended up having to change a melody and then there was no repetition people want a little bit of repetition in the melody because you want them you want that to stick in people's head this is how songs gonna do well right um so the reason why i started talking about keeping a song universal um inclusive you know gender without gender was because i've put the word you there after you went and I didn't say after he went, because otherwise um, only say, only girls would be singing that. Or if you say after she went, only guys would be singing that. And we want everyone to sing. It. <laughs> so um, this is what I, I want to do. You, you do what you prefer. Um, so. Da -da -da -da. quite good end that after you went after you went so what can we say then i felt um i felt alone i felt that alone might end up changing into, I'm just writing here, I felt alone. Um, what does alone rhyme with? Let's have a look. <laughs> alone. Alone. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Probably not. Alone rhymes with barone. <laughs> blown. I felt blown. I felt capone. <laughs> I felt cologne. <laughs> I felt condone. Sometimes it's a right laugh. I felt a cyclone. <laughs> I felt Dijon. I felt a drone. No, come on. Flintstone. I felt a Flintstone. <laughs> oh, God. Homegrown. I felt gnome. Alone rhymes with gnome. Let's write it down. Because it could, say, it could be that I say, I felt alone, like nothing I've ever known. You know, like a feeling you've never, you've never known. See where I'm going with it? But at the moment, it's not perfect, but I'm still writing that line, and then I'll perfect it later. 
Um, because in music, you've got the beauty of not having to be grammatically always correct. You know, it's um, especially when you listen to R&B and rap, they'll just use sounds. Max Martin does that with all these who, who, who at the end of a song. <laughs> I love you, Mar Max. Um, it does it to maybe fill in um, a line that um, otherwise, it, it, you know, it wouldn't go with a line below or the, or the line after that. I felt alone, nothing I've ever known, nothing. Like a feeling, feeling. So if I said a feeling I've never known, I could do that. A feel, but it's not truly a feeling that you've never known. What could you say? Because, you know, you don't want to sound uh, patronising or feeling nothing. I like to know that. Something now. I felt alone. Nothing I want to know. No, not, let's leave it. Nothing I've ever known, and then we could change it. I've ever known. And if the last line is went, we need to now da 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 after you went. Now we're gonna rhyme. If I want to find the rhyme, we're gonna find something with went. Oh god, the rhyme doesn't find anything with went. What about the the rhyme zone? There must be something with went. Went. Bent. <laughs> Sent. No offense, anyone. Uh, meant, yeah, meant is a good talking feelings. Uh, talking about your feelings, it's something meaningful. Meant, so went goes with meant. Also goes with spent. I spent my days. My days were spent. Um, my days. Um, and spend and then, and then after you went well I'll write it down what I'm doing uh, let's see if we can find another rhyme so at the moment we've got mend, spend, cement <laughs> uh, I don't know ferment, lament no, don't like any of these prevent yeah uh, torment torment because we're talking about someone feeling alone um it was but then we can turn it into the second part of the chorus where initially we say it was a torment um but then you know what, what happened to me but then i you know went out and um picked myself up and dusted myself off and everything turned better you know if, if you want to be that sort of songwriter right you know writing a positive message or you could be a depressing songwriter um and keep it bleh, everything went to be <laughs> uh, what else does it uh, i think we've got enough there but what else does it rhyme with when rhymes with orient <laughs> express reinvent and i reinvent it's not very good to song. And I reinvent. <laughs> supplement. Yeah, I'll have a vitamin D supplement. Hmm. Disorient. Yeah, someone who could be disoriented. Disorient. But it's a bit better to say disoriented. Disoriented. Went, and I can say after you went it. So I might not be able to use that. Okay, so at the moment we've got I felt alone. Nothing I've ever known. It was a torment after you went. Meant after you went. Na, 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 man, na. The torment is too long. Spent. Na, 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 spent after you went. Something spent. Oh. And it gets frustrating because you want to get it out. <laughs> you know, it's your babies. Like when you're pregnant, you've got these babies growing and then you want to get it out. <laughs> After nine months, you're heavy. I've never been pregnant. But uh, yeah, you want to get it. 
So, and this, this can be really enjoyable. It can be really frustrating, but um, and then what I do, uh, when if I can't find the line, I go online and I'll just put the word poor meant, um, I write the word torment and then I write um, sayings, you know, like free cultural sayings. And then I go into images. So I'm on Google, I'm typing torment. I go into images. What does he say there? The most hateful torment for men is to have knowledge of everything but power or nothing. And things like that inspire me. You know, I just read some quotes. And these are probably quotes from you know, old poets, copyright free. I mean, I wouldn't uh, steal anything, but there might be something there that makes me think of something else. You may be deceived if you trust too much, but you will live in torment if you don't trust enough. So we we could then include the concept of trust. Uh, I felt alone, nothing I've ever known. Trust in... Trust it, but you men. No. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't put went because it's so hard. Um, what else have we got? You may be deceived if you trust too much, but you will live in torment if you don't trust enough. Yeah. So trust in. Trusting became hard after you went. Okay, so like trusting someone else. So hard. So we want to end in hard. So what goes on with hard? Hard. You've got, you've got charred. <laughs> hard. Uh, I can't find much. Lard. <laughs> I felt alone, nothing I've ever known. I ended up, and then I ate some lard after. <laughs> scarred, scarred. So we're talking feelings, bad feelings, scarred. Wow, how are we going to use that? We still want to say after. After? I have to use the after a bit before. I felt alone, nothing I've ever known. Now I'm burnt and scarred. Um, after you went, I quite like the word scarred. After you, what else have they got? Look, die hard, <laughs> discard, farmyard. Um, what card? Postcard. Schoolyard, safeguard. <laughs> Trump card, no, we don't want Trump. <laughs> Tillyard, tabard. <laughs> Avantgarde, well, some of these is, you know, you just really have to look through and spend the time. Um, trading card, Scotland Yard. <laughs> Uh, identity card. Yo, yeoman and the guard. <laughs> Don't think so. Come on, girl. I want to get these four lines done. Play them on the piano. And then I'll be glad that I've got the first part of the course. What could be the second part of the course? It's just this is not long enough. Because how many bars is that? A bar is four beats. Oh, bars could be three. Actually, a bar could be any beats. Could be three beats if you were doing a... Um, um, a waltz, dum ba ba, dum ba ba, one two three, one two three. Oh, and but this is in, this this song is in four four. I felt alone, one two three four, one two I felt alone. Every time I put my head down, that's one one. Da 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 da. Nothing I've ever known. Da 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 da. After you went, yeah. So um. I can't remember what. <laughs> My memory is terrible. Why was I talking about beats now? Oh, yeah, because I was saying so many bars is that. Um, one. I felt alone. Nothing I've ever known. It's probably eight. Da, 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 after you went. 
Yeah, so we need, re well, we could leave a chorus at eight bars, but it seems really short. So you really want to do uh, 16 bars. Uh, you want to basically re repeat this melody again, because people want to listen to it again, familiarize, learn it, and then go out and sing it to, to everyone else. Um, okay, so I felt alone. Nothing I've ever, I can't say ever known, because I'm sure you would have known me. You know the feeling of loneliness from something else your best friend leaving you or you know a parent dying so but for now we'll just sing it like that and then i'll circle that word because i want to work on it so i'll circle it and it reminds me later that i've got to work on that i felt alone nothing i want to i want to have known i want to have known nothing i've ever known um after da 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 uh, what if I put it after initially? After after you went after see now the word doesn't quite go with the melody. Da 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 and it goes after the accent wouldn't be the word is after the accent the accent is on the word a after no it's not after and if i sang that after as the first word of that melody i'd have to sing it after after da, da, and it's it's not quite right this is why you gotta use the right words the right syllables in the right parts of the melody na, 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 after da. After, na, 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 after, but I could use it in the third line. I felt alone, nothing I've ever known. After you, <laughs> you book it off. After, after you scarred me, me. After you, after you. Decided, decided, it could be after, after you decided, you decided, after you decided, what goes with decided, such a long word, decided, abided, uh, collided, after you decided, I was, after you decided, I wasn't good anymore, Something like that. After you decided. After um, right. you decided, I glad I'm riding. After you decided, I, I was no more. And then dividing is quite a good word. After you decided we should be divided, <laughs> we should be divided. And then it won't end there. And then you could say, After we, after you decided we should be divided. Let's try that. <laughs> Lyrics. I felt. Oh, let me write down the numbers because it's all scribbled up. This now will turn into pages and pages of the same lyrics. I felt alone with the first line. Nothing I've ever known. That's just, I'm going to be scribbling underneath. That needs changing. That needs something better. Um, after you decided, that's three. We should be divided. Okay, so the first 
the first uh, part of the chorus. It's A, A major 7, G, which we scrapped it. Into F, goes into F, da, 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 then goes into G, and then the second part. I felt from a book um, and um, yeah I'll be working on it so if you enjoyed it today and thank you so much for, for tuning in please subscribe and um, tick on the option to um, receive up you know updates or next events so everything you heard today is copyrighted by Consuelo Scivoletto Cordi Aka Consul Cheerio thanks for joining me